today to basically share a little bit of story with all the viewers. And today I would love about something related to believe in yourself. I know that some of my students, since I'm one of the lecturers here, I had this experience with a lot of students in terms of their behavior, in terms of their personality. Um, yes, some of them are struggling, meaning to say that they are struggling to cope with their studies. Alright, some of them are having a problem in terms of understanding the subject that they learned and end up they couldn't excel in that particular subject. And being me, of course, a typical lecturer, we always find a solution when we have this kind of student. What we did was we always encourage them always motivate them so that they will not feel left behind and they will also feel like someone is actually caring for them. The method that I usually implement to my students is all based on verbal motivation. When they had a problem, when they couldn't understand certain topic, when they couldn't actually present, standing here present in front of their students, when they have to do the public speaking. And I need to do something about that. I know that each and every student, all of them are unique, okay? I believe that all of us have been given the same, what we call it, uh, brain, all right? And of course, it can work exactly the same. And uh, you know what? Uh, I, I'm dealing with a lot of students where uh, most of them is not really good in subject, in understanding certain subject, but they do have the determination. It's just that they are lacking of their, what we call it, confidence. Okay? I often say to these students that you have to believe in yourself. You know what? Like, everybody can keep on giving you motivation, but at the end of the day, it is you alone have to be confident in yourself. Have to believe in yourself. When people keep telling that you couldn't do this, you cannot do this, you don't know how to do this, you are so bad in this particular thing, don't bother them, you know? Okay? Because you have to think about yourself. If you want to excel in any field, in any area, you have to think about you, how you're going to improve from that particular thing. Alright, you have to trust yourself. You have to believe in yourself. If you think that you don't have that skill, you don't have those knowledge, it is where you should equip yourself with all those skills and knowledge. Alright, you have to be comfortable with yourself. This is something that normally students are feeling that, oh my god, I'm not good at this. I couldn't continue my study because it's so hard. It doesn't matter how time, how many times you keep on saying to them, you can, you can, please believe in yourself, okay? It's okay if you are making a mistake, it's okay, all right? This is a learning process. You are allowed to make mistakes. But of course, when you know that it's a mistake, don't keep on repeating the same mistakes. You have to improve yourself. I know it's not easy to those students finish high school, some of them do not know how to communicate in English. Alright, since English is our um, communication, what we call it language here, most of them, I can say some of them, are having trouble with that kind of practices. Those things that are always mentioned to my students, keep on practice. Be comfortable with yourself, be comfortable with anything that you guys are doing, you know. You have to believe in yourself. Alright, of course there will be someone that keep on giving them negativity towards you. But don't bother them. Don't care about them. Don't bother them. They are not the one who pay your tuition fees. They are not the one who support your life. The one that you always need to think on is your family members. You have to believe in yourself. Alright, so that you are able to do something better, which is for your own good. And of course, the impact will be good for your family members as well, especially your parent. Okay, so to those who are struggling with their life, to those who are struggling with 
studies, to those are having lack of motivation, to those are having lack of what we call a belief in themselves, you have to change your mindset. It is something that you can do, you know. Just change it. I know it's not easy. Sometimes it could be easy for us to say it, but for us to do is two different things. Alright? The thing that you need to get now is the support. Alright? Don't care about those people who hate you. Don't care about those people who always talk bad about you. But you have to sit with someone that always felt the positivity of you. Stay with them, live with them, and take all those positivity vibes into yourself. Believe in yourself again, and inshallah things will be much, much more better. I think that's all for me today. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope to see you guys.